Welcome to an incredibly cursed RimWorld. Yesterday, we tried attacking some mechanoids and Sharamus got killed. And then we saved an android in the first ever act of selflessness and magnanimity that I've ever done on this whole goddamn channel. I got repaid for it by an android blowing up and destroying my entire hospital. So that's the last time I ever try and save anyone to do anything nice in this video game ever. They don't deserve it, to be honest. So, as much as I'd love to, uh, obviously get some of the rebuilding done in between episodes here, we really can't, because we are currently still in the middle of our mechanoid raid here. So now we're down to Rose, Pain, Fear, and Sir gets knocked out a lot to try and take this, try and take this place down. Um, I want to put Sharmus' body somewhere better than just there. We could send Pork, and we could have him build a, we could, we could send everything we need for a drop pod platform. And, and, and send a bunch of chem fuel too. To be fair, we definitely need chem fuel because we've got the chem reactors. Once we get those set, we'll be good. Um, but we could send enough to, to build a drop pod and then have Sharamus' body drop podded back, ready for resurrection. So I might actually send Pork to those guys. What we'll do there, let's go and secure Sharamus' body before we get too carried away here. Let's put down a dumping stockpile zone, just go critical and then allow... Because somebody said in the comment he's going to get eaten by a rat. And in hindsight, that's a fair point. Wild animals aren't going to stop despite the fact he is mostly bionic at this stage and, and mostly um, probably terrible. Just terrible tasting. Out of all the characters, Sharamus is definitely up there for the one I would want to eat the least. Why? What do you mean? Oh, right, because we actually can't get to him. Right, my bad. Um, let's try again. There we are. Okay, let's get him out of there. And then I'll also put down a door in front of the structure too. Just so that he counts as indoor and roofed. And it should be cold enough still. Yeah, it's still minus nine in there. So he's not going to go anywhere the second we've got him secured. Masterwork what? Pork has created a masterwork lab. Oh, he's going to rebuild the hospital this time. Right, right, right. Got it. And as he rebuilds the hospital, don't forget there's a good chance that... Uh, all those furnitures are going to have a slight upgrade. Again, you've got to look at the silver lining here. That hospital being blown up is great for us because Pork can rebuild it all with a much higher quality now that he's a much more skill builder. Right, there we go. Um, I wanted to get that hauled into a shelf because obviously the Monosword is kind of essential. We'll just pick it up instead for the time being. We'll just pick it up and let Pain carry it around for a, for a while. Backup weapon. Right, so let's clear this room next, get this vanimetric power cell, install it in here along with the chem reactors. Then by the time we've cleared out the other rooms, Port might be able to come over here and build a build a drop shelter for us. What I'm going to do is also shrink this zone down, otherwise they're going to spend all their time hauling around friggin' mechanoids. Um, right, so let's go ahead and reinstall that one into here. Uh, no, 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 re reinstall it, thank you. And then when Sir Gets Nice Outlaw is healed up a little bit, when they've all healed up a little bit more. Oh, his infection's actually good, I didn't even check that. Um... Then we'll go ahead and deal with this one. But this is mostly flame bots. They're quite easy. The only one that we've really got to worry about is the assaulter. Like someone pointed out in the comments yesterday, it is all just down to the armor value. We don't exactly have the super highest value armor piercing weapons. Right, there we are. Um, obviously, Sharamus is dead, so we'll move him to the end. Oh, so it's knocked out a lot. Armor's gone. Huh. Um, I am going to go for this, even though it is somewhat more risky. In fact, let's not take so it gets knocked out a lot in hindsight. The guy's naked and still heavily injured. It will only take a couple of shots to really send him to the grave. Right, let's put him here. And see if we can bait them out. All we've got to do is wait for one just to cross this threshold. And Payne should have a decent line on there as well. Unless we send someone to bait them out. Send Payne just to peek his head around the corner. What? Flame bot seen us. Okay, that's fine. That might be enough. Are they coming for us? Uh, it was that one that shot at us. Watching for targets. Now, oh god, these things are a pain in the ass, aren't they? Oh, we can see the assaulter. Um, I think it's more likely we're going to hit it rather than it hitting us. Here come the flame bots. Good shit, good shit. Come on, Rose. Oh, come on. How did they fuck that up so badly? Okay, pull that, pull that. Now we run and gun. Oh, there you go. See, instantly kill at that time. Good God. Right, okay. Um, let's get behind at least some cover here. There we go. Okay. And we should be able to... I want to bait this assault out because that's the thing that's really going to do us in here more than anything else. Rose, are you okay? Uh, no, break the risk. What are you talking about? Oh, right, fear. Sorry, I thought he got shot and he needed tending, but no, he was just, uh, just a break risk there. Okay. This is working a little bit better. Come on, one more volley. Oh my god, seriously? These things are so armored. Good god. This is why we need just, like, one EMP weapon would do a pretty decent job here. Rose, you need to back off, because the last thing we want is you catching fire. There's another flame bot down. Okay, that's basically secured this Vanimetra Power Cell. The only other thing we have to worry about now is that Vespa. Um, but given that everybody's armored, it shouldn't be... Oh, Fear actually hasn't got much armor. It might be better, because they're using quite a long-range weapon, just to get in here and gun him down. The only thing I'm concerned about is that flame bot getting a bit close. Yeah, that worked out pretty decently. Come on. There we go. Okay, perfect. That couldn't have gone any better. Right, let's go ahead and take the walls out. Save us a little bit of time walking through. 
Okay, and then we'll remove that one too. Then we want to get this reinstalled into uh, into there. And then we'll claim that one. If he's going to hide in room. Absolutely the best breakdown we could have possibly had, to be honest with you. Right, let's get working on that as soon as possible. Good shit. Okay, that's another one down. And now all we've got to do is deal with this back room and then it's the center and then we're done so i think we'll send pork over the only reason i haven't sent pork yet is obviously i want to be able to rebuild the hospital a little bit just so that when we send him back when we send sharamus back or anybody back that we feel like we can immediately start resurrecting them tending them whatever we have to do fortunately i'm after having to prioritize this hospital somewhat so um we've got the surgical tools the surgical lamp how do we connect everything up here am i going crazy and then the iv drip at the top <laughs> I've, we, we've been missing something all this time. Wait. Oh, he's put down another lamp there. Why is that there? That one's masterwork, though. So we'll get rid of that one. Um, and then we'll put down a... Put down an IV drip on the other side. I think that's going to be slightly more important. No, we haven't got enough medicine anyway. Yeah, the issue right now is we've got all this... Uh, all, the, all the steel in the form of slag. So we have to melt it all down. Can't even make components because we just don't have enough. So I'm trying to build this, this drop pod. And they just don't have the resources to do it. Hang on. Before they... Yeah, still no components, bollocks. I was going to say before they deliver it to some other things here. We could cancel... Oh, no, that just uses plastic advanced components, bollocks. Uh, six in the silver drug lab. We don't have enough silver for it. We could better have something a bit more sensible. Let's not build the drugs up for the time being, then. Let's focus on this drop pod, send some reinforcements, send some supplies. There we are. That gave us just enough steel to start... To, to, to jumpstart our component manufacturing. Let's get all of this slag junk moved back somewhere else. I just want to get one of the hospital rooms built up. Just in the case of emergencies, you never know when we might get hit by a plague or something like that. I just want to get one of these beds up to the maximum, maximum levels. So we've got, okay, end table, surgical tools, vitals monitor. We need an IV drip and we need a surgical lamp. There we are. Um, and what do we need for that one? More plasteel, which of course we can't make right now. Brilliant. Well, we can make it, but we don't really have enough steel to do so. Halotos should be working the deep drill there, right? Oh man, there's so much steel slag everywhere. Let's get all this stuff hauled. Um... Right, so the, the deep drill is there. We just need to let him obviously get on with it. Um, already drilling. Yeah, perfect. All right, so I've loaded pork. I've loaded 50 steel, one component, and a shitload of lavish meals into this to blast over here. All we've got to do is build uh, the launcher. What is it called? The, the drop pod launcher, whatever that is. Uh, and then we can start sending stuff back. We can start sending all this steel home, all of the mechanoid corpses back. We can more importantly send Sharamus back. Let's do it. Good luck, little pork. And we've got ourselves a decent builder as well there. Now, again, if the home base is attacked, we're in a bit of a fucking problem seeing as we've got everybody over here right now. But as we start dismantling it, shipping it home, we'll, we'll see a massive profit out of this. So, and again, we've technically got infinite chem fuel now with these things kicking around, so that's quite nice. Uh, okay, good work. So, with that stuff then, I, I sent specifically enough just to be able to build the pod launcher. There we go. Let's get that down as soon as possible. Oh, I should have sent some actual chem fuel to be able to make a pod though. Because obviously that's not going to be done for days. Ten days. I, 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 what I assumed I was going to do is leave pork here and rip it apart over a long period of time. And then send it all back and then send pork back last after we've dismantled everything. Um, hence why these things being set up is okay. But the other ones might need to caravan back. That's alright. They can manage. Okay. Um, so I wasn't able to find any armor for Sergeant Stock down a lot either. So we might just have to keep him out of conflict. Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit concerned about these two. We know the Siege Breaker isn't particularly deadly. It's deadly at range. The Goliath, though, no idea what th what that thing's got in store for us. After we've done that, we'll dismantle like this room here and let them swarm through from the center. Then we can take it all apart fairly safely. I'm going to give them a little bit of time just to heal up, though, I think. Hang on. We could call him military aid into this area, couldn't we? Why didn't I think of that before? <laughs> okay, um, I want to make a new unit here. Everyone's saying invest all the points into one single super-powered unit. So I'm going to call you super-powered unit. Oh, no, no, no. Absolute unit. There we are. Um, change race. Obviously, orc. We're not animals here. Um, let's give him... Let, let's focus on the weapon. That's all that really matters. Link. Link Zeus Hammers. They're mechanoids, for God's sake. Oh, this is genius. Okay. Um, give him the shield protector. Uh, give him whatever we've got, really. Jumpsuit is absolutely fine. Um, you could go, like, hyperweave. Oh, I'll talk about that in a second, too. I said I was going to talk about it yesterday. Forgot to do it because, you know, everything was happening at once. Um, but with the hyperweave in the base, let's talk about this now before I friggin' forget. The hyperweave in the base, I am building clothes out of it. I'm well aware I'm building clothes out of it. It's intentional because the spiders are making more hyperweave than... We're making clothes out of them. And the reason for that is I'm making clothes out of the Hyperweave. Then we're recycling any clothes that aren't masterwork minimum level. 
eventually, if we leave this long enough, we're going to have nothing but a set of, bear in mind people are only wearing gloves, boots, uh, which I don't believe can made, be made out of hyperweave anyway, jumpsuits and overalls as their civilian clothes. Those are the only things I've got queued up to make out of hyperweave again, minus the boots, I think. So, eventually we're going to have it so everybody's got masterwork hyperweave gear. And with the Menzing Armor Axe too, when we get those built, that's going to be infinite because they're just going to eventually recharge. And of course, we've got the Mending Mod as well. Basically, overall, over the long period, I think it's going to work out really, really well. We just have to give it enough chance to get going. And any that isn't masterwork is just recycled back. Sure, we lose, what, like 20% of our import resources. By that time, the spiders have already made enough hyperweave to make up for it. I could sell it as well. But then again, we could always just say don't bother tithing all of our settlements if we wanted silver so desperately, which we definitely don't at this stage. All right, so back to absolute unit there with this horrendous Justin Bieber haircut. Any helmet would be better than nothing. So let's go for simple helmet. Um, I mean, does it make much difference here? I mean, steel, simple helmet is probably more than sufficient. Oh, God. Yeah, no, let's not worry about animals either. Unless there are any specific anti mechaloid animals. I know there are, like, those black curve animals that are apparently designed for that. But I don't think they're... I don't think they really have any special effects. Let's go for some cloth parkers. And then, uh, the... The jumpsuit makes them work faster. So we might as well go for that. There we are. 3,700. It's a shame we don't have any armor research at all. That would have helped out. Um, overalls or apron. Um... I think we're all right. There we are. So absolute unit. Then we'll go ahead and create a quick squad of... What's our maximum point value from that one? We'll try and just use one of these. So we've got an emergency one just in case our base attack. We've got 32,500 points. So let's see. And the other one's 25,000. So what I'm going to do is let's see if we can... Uh, I'm going to call this anti-mech. Let's see how many we can get with 25,000. If I don't think that's enough, we'll chuck down a load of... Um, a load of them until we hit the 30 thousand so we could oh man we could get like six of them <laughs> that's a bit crap okay let's go let's go full board then uh not just coming for knock thank you uh was it thirty five thousand thirty three thousand with the anti met squad um thirty two thousand five hundred oh bollocks um ah we can't afford it maybe i'll take off their jackets maybe we'll just go ahead and unequip that how are we looking now uh let's go back to that i could do the maths it's far too hard there we go 32,454. Uh, 32,500. Set squad. Anti-mech. Perfect. Deploy. The question is, will they attack the ones in the center? Or am I going to have to open that up for them? I guess we'll wait and see, won't we? Oh, we can move them, though. Yeah, that's a fair point. They're not just going to leave until they've done their job. Right, get in there, boys. Attack. Yes. Get in there. Kill. Oh, look at them go. Look at some of them go. Pork, I don't know what you're doing, but you're not involved here. Move. Can I tell them to... Oh, hang on. Try that, fool. Move into there. There they go. There they go. There they go. And then attack. Good shit. Good shit. Okay, they're fighting the Siege Breaker. Now they're going for the Goliath. Oh, man. That worked out so well. Zeus Hammers was a great play. Okay, good shit. Good shit. Now we'll get Pork. Wait, no. Don't you leave. You come back here. Take this one out. Okay, take this one out, and then, oh, get out of there, pork, and then attack. There, yeah, there they go. I'm pretty impressed by that. A little, a little orc army works pretty well. That was, that was good advice, by the way, comment section, saying just spend the points on as many, as many points on, like, one guy as possible, rather than going for raw numbers. I mean, the kobold kamikaze squads are kind of fun, but nowhere near as effective as this. Uh, okay, let's just draft you up a second. Let him deal with the last of these guys. Let's get this done, and then we can open the base up. We don't have to put any restrictions on our people. More importantly, we can get them out of there. Oh, go put the fire out on him. Uh, go put the fire out. Go put the fire out. There you go. We don't want any of our allies to die, otherwise they get unhappy. There we are. And now we can tell them to leave. Perfect. We're done. Good shit. All right. Undraft, everybody. There we go. One base. So now we'll start dismantling it all. Um, I guess first things first, remove roof area. Let's get all of this shit done. Uh, so does that not mean we only have a few days now? Yeah, 20 days to take as much from this as we possibly can. It's going to be kind of difficult, but hopefully this will provide enough components to get this working. Should put also, I, I think I will put down a machining table as well, so that we can take apart the mechanoids for some, for some extra stuff. Um, Rose, let's go and rescue Burr and, seriously? <sighs> Medical bed. Medical bed. Uh, right, Rose, rescue Burr and Gun. Okay, besides that then, we could caravan some of them home. Because it wasn't exactly far away, was it? How long would it take caravan between our base? Uh, here, let's just go that. Right, choose route. There to there. Yeah, one day. Um, 
Okay. I think we could I think we could do that. Just send some of them home with some of the weapons for caravan back and then send the rest via drop pods with port. That way I want to be able to be sure that we can defend our home base as well. The dismantling's going pretty good. What we want to do now is kind of rip it all apart and see what we actually got. See if this whole massive waste of time was worth it. Um so we've got, I've, I've tried to collect all the mechanoid bodies up into here. You can see with the machining table down, this is going to be pretty lucrative by itself. Then we can use the components of the steel we get from that to make the drop pods. Then with the drop pods, we can obviously send back the ridiculous amount of steel. Oh, we should dismantle this thing, see what we actually get out of it. Um, pork. Let's see what our treasure was. Let's see if all of this was actually worthwhile. I imagine it's just going to be an air persona course, some advanced components, that type of thing. Uh, yep, it was, nope. No, there was no advanced persona core. It was just advanced components. And apparently, a steam geezer. Great. Um, really? That wouldn't give you an AR Persona Core, even though it said it was powered by a Persona Core? That's okay. What about the ship engines? What do those give? More advanced, more advanced components. Okay, the advanced components alone are worthwhile, because with those, we can rebuild our hospital and some of the other things we've lost. What's wrong with you? Oh, someone got into a fist fight with him, for fuck's sake. Rose, rescue him. Oh, for God's sake. Ah, other guy's taking up our hospital bed. Right, there we go. Uh, yeah, that's a lot of steel, though. Good lord. Yeah, that, that'll come in fairly handy. When we've taken apart the central area too, that'll be a lot of plasteel to add to that. There we go. For God's sake. Okay. Um, right, let's rip all this stuff apart. And the floors too. Let's not forget the floors here. Man, this is uh, this is going to be quite a lot. I'm glad we did this in hindsight. I know they obviously had a few hiccups here and there. Um, the fact that I've had to send other people certainly didn't help. But it is going to be it is going to be massive. Oh, it spends slightly over what you'd expect it to. Look, look at all this crap. Is it just maybe that zone? Oh, no, there is a little bit extra. Okay, there we are. Um, I suppose we could pull up the floors in Sharamus' area too. Wow. Okay. Yeah, you know what? I, I thought this might have been a waste of time, but that, in hindsight, is quite a lot. That's Bear in mind, we've got no steel right now either because the hospital rebuild. This is insane. This is crazy, man. How, can we... Oh, I can't even select the whole lot, unfortunately. That plus the plastic we're going to get from the center of town. And these are all plastic bridges, which is a little bit of an issue because it means if we do things like that where we take them apart around it, basically, I'm having to do it all manually to stop the... Uh, Stop the AI going a bit nuts and leaving plastic like islands, essentially. Any second now, we should have enough components to kickstart the economy here. That was my bad for not... Okay, that's not where I wanted that, but that'll do. Uh, I also sent some chem fuel as well to be able to fuel up this. We might as well go maximal on that one. And then let's build before we do absolutely anything. Make sure this machining table is built. Because that way we can dismantle all of these mechanoids. Then we can send the raw resources rather than the mechanoids to be dismantled. More importantly, it will give us enough components to be able to build as many drop pods as we bloody feel like. I'm going to send Sir Gets Knocked out a lot, a lot. In fact, I'm going to start sending them all of them back now. Um, Shred Mechanoid, do forever. Who is good at machining? Pork machine. Well, Mr. Pork, I have a job for you. Oh, that mechanoid drop chem fuel? <laughs> okay. Uh, apparently, we've already got I didn't need to chem send chem fuel either. My bad. Okay, well, that's cool. Right, there we are. Uh, so that's going to be enough to obviously build our drop pods. Should we start sending people back now? Get them out of this absolute hellscape. Specifically, Sir gets knocked out a lot, who's basically naked. We don't need multiple people anyway. We don't need multiple people here. Um, not signed for refueling. Who's on refueling? Pork is. Because Pork's going to have to refuel all the other stuff as well, isn't he? Right, there we are. Um, prototypes are refueling that. Thank you very much. And let's send... You can't send multiple people per drop pod, can you? Don't think that's a thing. Um, unless, perhaps, it will say no. Yeah, I thought that might be the case. Hang on, what if we send... Oh, you send two people per pod? Oh, that's cool. Okay, fine. Go on, ram them in then. Let's send them home. Uh, and then launch pod, send them back to base, and drop them right there. There you go. Goodbye. So first lot of people sent back. And then let's get down another transport pod. Where the hell are they? There we are. There's way too much stuff on that miss screen. My God. Okay, more than enough fuel as well. I should, probably shouldn't let him refuel it much higher than that. We don't need to. There we are. If I can, I want to send a hauling bot over here as well, just to help him out a little bit. Otherwise, my guy's going to be here for days not being able to... Uh, can we send Sharamus back with these two? No, too heavy. Um, send any mechanoids. Good God, these mechanoids are heavy. We can't even send any of them. Um, I mean, the, the Zeus Hammers are obviously all going to disappear. Well, let's send that. Let's send that. Let's send the gold, the silver... Basically, whatever we can fit on it, we'll start to send. Do up to mass? Yeah, that's fine. There we are. So, 60 steel as well. Get that shit sent home. So, it gets knocked out a lot. You need to get on there as soon as possible, because this guy's just going to freeze to death. Ah! Armor or inspiration? Unfortunately, we don't have enough. Um, We could do it, given that we need armor anyway. 2,000 silver. Nothing. Okay. Oh, we don't have any silver at all, do we? Yeah, we, we don't have enough. Okay, fine. Last time we did that, we got something like an infused flak vest, I think it was. I don't really remember, but there's a chance of them just basically crafting you some some decent gear. The infusement, it's obviously random, but but good quality gear. What are you doing right now? Wandering. Do you want to get in the fucking transport pod? Is that, oh, is that good? Okay, cool. Get them out of here. 
I want to send a hauling bot over to him. So we'll uninstall a couple of hauling bots. Or we'll, we'll build a fresh one or something like that. And, uh, and we'll make sure that is sent over to port to help him out. Because my guy has a lot of work on his hands here. Everybody's in a much better mood now. They're not in a frozen hellscape filled with death bots, weirdly enough. So let's get... Uh, I've uninstalled two of the hauling bots. We're going to send those over to port just to make his life a little bit easier. Then we'll obviously get him to bring them back with him when he's done. Um, what am I looking for here? Hauling. Okay, you know what? Haul... Let's take a look. Uh, all in base station, right? Send two of those. And let's get you to load that. You to load that. Someone to fucking load it. Thank you. As soon as possible. Send it over to the guy. How's he doing as well? I sent him to dig up all the floors. He's done a pretty good job. He's actually done a really good job. I'm going to get him to obviously dismantle all the mechanisms before we send him back as well. Because otherwise it's going to take absolutely years. So what I'm going to do is send the hauling bots over. Get them to go and grab all of the steel slag and everything else. Um, if he has ch chance to smelt it, he can. But if not, it doesn't really matter too much. Because obviously you're not wasting his time much more. What's it? For the love of God. Prioritize loading the transport pod. Not half the transport pod. Not just one hauler, but the entire goddamn thing. Right, there we go. We also got a settlement raid. But when I actually went to the settlement to try and defend it, I couldn't send anybody. The button doesn't work. I wonder if it's because we're on military cooldown with everybody. No, everybody's available besides military town. I just can't send them in for whatever reason. Maybe maybe a, a, an update to one of the mods is broken or something there. Anyway, it doesn't matter too much. We'll probably just lose a building or something like that. Right, send you over to my good man Pork. Let's put him right there. You know, I was, I was dangerously close in hindsight. Probably could have moved that a little bit further away. What if they land on that? Oh, God. We're fine. Hey, that wasn't too bad. Okay, let's get a couple of these down. Oh, right. Well, of course, we need to get it close to the Vanometric Power Cell. How much power can that thing... So, those are taking up 300 apiece. That's taking up 350. Do we have enough wattage to spare for these? Um, if I need zero watts. I guess we'll see. I assume they only drain power when they're charging. I assume the base station doesn't need a consistent level of power or anything like that. 100 watts. Right, so that's 300. That's 300. That's 350. I'm no mathematician, but I'm pretty sure that's not gonna work is it let's go ahead and disconnect this thing let's let's go ahead and turn this one off because i mean the plastic i mean the, the, the chemtrail's not gonna be done by the time we get out of here anyway for the most part right go ahead and turn that one off did you just oh, for god's sake hold it into the stop pile and not actually into the okay you know what fine fine thank you get to work he's also just run out of meals as well so let's put him down another one meanwhile halitos has been uh absolutely caning it on the deep drill where are we up to now? Yes, yeah, so we're almost up to the second layer, and then don't forget we've got those two. I don't think we need to worry about steel. I don't think we need to really worry about steel these days anyway. Let's go and send all those bots back out to work. Um, let's put one more drop pod down. I'm going to send him enough food to last him, even if we just send him simple meals. I was sending him luxury ones, just because no one was eating them here, obviously. And although we've got 66 again, you know, we can send those off. Um, and obviously him being in this horrible hellscape where there's no recreation, he's got a dirty room, etc., etc. I wanted to keep his mood as high as possible. Right, so can we now also claim the bills? Um, one of these is still set to tithe, isn't it? I think it is. Um, there's, there's, a, there's an overview somewhere. I can't remember where we see it now. Uh, settlements, that's it. Uh, or not? I don't remember. Anyway, re resolve bill. Oh, wait, none of them are set to tithe. They're just costing us a fortune. Oh, all right. Well, never mind. We've, we've got to pay it off eventually, right? Otherwise, they become unhappy. Oh, I remember why. Because they destroyed the quarry here in that raid. I and mean, I never got around to rebuilding it because we didn't have enough silver. We still don't have enough silver yet, obviously, until the Hall and Bots have moved that other stuff. But what do we need for the Resurrector mech? Uh, what, what are we missing right now? So we definitely got enough advanced components. Hey, I can send those from... Um... I can send them from, from Pork to go and deal with that one. Uh, we've got the Luciferium, obviously, and then we just need the medicine. No, no, I'm looking at the wrong one, you fool. Um, seven advanced components, right. One Luciferium, five medicine. The advanced components we got kicking around right now. Uh, two. Oh, good. Well, we've got enough to be able to resurrect one person right now. Um, I guess we'll go for Delta first, seeing as she is our colony manager and obviously... Somewhat more important than just a massive cyber orc. Uh, in terms of defenses, we're not doing too terribly. So I'll get Delta back first because she's just all around a bit more useful. Otherwise, as with Crosby, as you can see, he has to do basically everything. Oh, there's a drug lab there. What are you doing? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not, very, I'm not very good at this video game. Right, let's put that Let's put that chair there. Um, go ahead and destroy this one, I guess. I'll go ahead and copy these bills up, though, because those are better than the uh, those are better than the ones I've done in here. Right, there we go. Get rid of that. Paste that in. Perfect. Okay. And then we'll destroy this workbench after he's done. Take the steel back. You fool. You fool. Okay, there we are. Okay, sorry. No, no, not now. Not now. Not now. Let's just, let, let someone else work on that. You can work on this one instead. And some fresh meals for pork. I was going to say for Sharamus then, but I don't think he really needs many meals, does he? All right, there we go. Um, and how much more steel have we got? My God, it's 3,108. That's the most steel we've ever seen in this game. All we had to do was defeat and completely deconstruct a mechanoid hive ship, for God's sake. 
Anyway, we're almost done with that. There's meals for my man pork. 40 meals should last him quite a long time. Why is that not being roofed over? What? <laughs> uh, oh, it's that corner. Why are you not doing that? Why, why can't I do that? There we are. Okay. Get that roof area done before poor Sharamus completely decomposes. Okay, that's good. So Sharamus should be completely safe now. Uh, how's he looking? Mr. Body Parts, 65%. It was 96 out of 100. Yeah, we had a long time before we had to really worry about that one. Now I guess we'll... Uh, so what do we need? So I, I'm going to always have enough Plasteel to make an advanced component. Do you think that's a good idea? So that way we can always fulfill our advanced components job, and that way we can always fulfill our Resurrect Max Serum job. So we need seven. So I'm going to drop that down to seven, pour, unpausing at three. And then uh, on this one... Actually, no, don't, don't even bother pausing it ever. Um, we'll do the same with this one as well, if I can find it on this massive fucking list. Right, there we are. And then don't ever bother pausing it. Okay. So what we'll do then is we'll say, because again, this is hideously expensive, but we do have an abundance of steel right now, thanks to pork. So we'll say do until X, where X is, and how much is it? 35? Uh, so 10. What did I think 35? That's, that's completely not right at all. Um... So we'll just do it until we can make one component. Although I guess it would be better to do double. So what do we do until we got 20 plastil in storage? Unpause when we've only got 10. Um, actually, what's the point in doing that at all? No, never never pause it. Never pause it. Uh, we make... How much is it we get out of this as well? Seven. Oh, right. Yeah, so, so do it in a multiplication of seven instead. Um, that's annoying. That's, a, that's an annoying amount of plastil. Um... 21 plasteel it is. That looks terrible. Yeah, anyway, so Watts is working on that one. As he works on that one, we can have Edward Crosby channel at the advanced components. By the time Edward Crosby gets to that, it'll unpause this bill again. There we are. Okay, perfect. We got ourselves a little bit of a supply line here. And then, so that should now be on, or oh, that obviously won't suspend. Kind of the question is whether or not you can craft advanced component before he finishes this job here. Um, we could always set the advanced components to do it in bulk of five and have him make 50 plus steel instead. But I want to be very careful about the amount of steel that we're actually using up. Right now. We've only got 811 here right now. Sure, I could have port build another transport pod basically immediately. Oh, maybe that's why we didn't need to send a defensive force because... Uh, because we already had a high military level to beat them. Oh, that's annoying. Removing plus steel bridges doesn't give plus steel. What? That doesn't make any sense. Okay. Uh, maybe I should use remove bridge rather than... Let's try that instead. Maybe that's where I was going wrong there. Oh, that's all bridges. Wow, that's annoying. Um, go on then. Let's give that a go. See if that works. No, it doesn't work either. Oh, there's no point removing it then, is there? Damn it, that's a shame. So all that plastic that I thought we were going to get from the floors. Remember, it's normally all, like seven per floor tile. Nothing. We got nothing out of that. Damn it, that would have been a load. Okay, well, let's keep removing this floor area then. When he's done that, all we've really got to do is focus on the machining so we can keep him inside all day out of this cold. So I might as well just blitz this and get it done as soon as possible. Oh, he's what? A lock drawer is hunting goat for food? Of all the ones you could hunt, not goat. Right, this is, this is a red alert status. Everybody, everybody has to, everyone has to squat up here. This is no messing around now, chief. This, this is goat's life on the line. You get into position, we're gonna, we're gonna annihilate this goddamn thing. You think you can eat goat? You do not eat goat. We just let it run past. Wait, do they not automatically attack if their animals are in danger? How strange. Okay, um, kill it dead. Kill that damn thing dead. Lock jaw revenge. We're good. Okay. Go saved for another day. I swear to God, I'm only counting this campaign as victory if we defeat the Empire and Goat is still alive. I mean, like, like the current Goat. I forget any previous history Goat may have had. This is the same Goat, I'm telling you. <laughs> well, Pork's done a pretty great job of taking apart these mechanoids. Let's go ahead and get the drop pod built and ship some of the... Ship some of the loot back to base, I guess. Uh, what about these things? Why don't we see how heavy those are? Whether or not we can even send them back in a drop pod. That would suck if we couldn't. Just have to take them apart, I guess. Oh, there we go. Um... Launch pods. What have we got to send, then? Uh, all the components, advanced components. Uh, I guess the plasteel probably wouldn't hurt. Uh, and then we'll go up to mass on steel. Regular steel. That's 34. That'll do it. Right, here we go. Let's send that back. Goodbye. And then let's get another one built straight away. Let's ship this back as soon as possible and just get port home. Because obviously the base itself has a lot of rebuilding to do. Granted, all of this stuff is going to... Did I send all the components? You absolute fool. Okay. Remind me not to do that in the future. We're lucky that we still got some mechanoids to dismantle, but that could have really fucked everything up. Our next pod, we're going to send just basically the crap, really, the odds and ends. We can fit the cam reactor somehow onto the onto the tiny little transport pod, which is great news. I'm sending Sharamus too, just so that I, I don't like the idea of him just lying on the floor, given the amount of work we've put into him. It seems very, I don't know, he seems a bit too fragile for that, weirdly enough. Okay, let's go ahead and ship that off as soon as possible. Do we have, this is what I want to check quickly. 
One out of two resurrected, mate. Nice. Okay. So, we'll bring back Delta. We might as well bring back Delta, like, right now. I have also built a coffin ready for Sharamus, but I guess we're going to bring back Delta. It doesn't really matter too much. Um, is she still fine? Yeah, she's still good. Okay, I wanted to double check there. What's it? Let's go resurrect her, and let's go ahead and bring her back to life. Um, where is the resurrector, mate? Then, there it is. Let's go ahead and pick that one up. We haven't yet had anyone come back with brain damage. So, we've gotten very, very lucky. The only problem with that is I'm a little bit concerned that we're kind of overdue for it. So just bear in mind that is still an issue with the with the resurrectors. They aren't they aren't completely foolproof. So this could still backfire and we could be left with a brain damaged delta and we'd have to do to her what we did to what's it. Right, go on then. Bring her back. And hopefully that'll be enough to Boom. There we go. Uh oh, damn it. Someone <laughs> Someone linked me a mod as well, which I actually installed but forgot to actually enable in the mod manager, which is uh the mod that removes the death amnesia. So when you resurrect people, they don't forget what all their jobs were before they died. Damn it, that's a shame. Oh, well. I think the only difference between her and what's it was that she was on managing as well. Oh, she was also fabrication, smithing, crafting, tailoring. Well, we went put her on tailoring. That doesn't matter too much. Um, and we're dropping down to tier two of the rest of them. There we go. Did she also get away with the resurrection sickness? But that's it. Okay, cool. Man, not a problem then. Okay. That, I, thought, I thought that might be a little bit risky. Why have we got... Wait, have we not got a butcher? Uh, butcher, butcher, butcher. We do have a butcher. Pierre? Pierre, what the hell are you doing, my man? Consuming fruit juice. Yeah, what about all these? Oh, I know why. Because the manager's been dead, right? Delta has been have been dead for all this time. So the animals haven't been marked for slaughter, regardless of whether or not we've got a butcher. That makes some sense. Okay. Um, I'll quickly go ahead and fix some of these some of these jobs then. And that's the last of the mechanoids. Oh wow, nice work. Okay. Um, so we could smelt down the steel slag, but bear in mind it costs what two hundred per pod. Oh, 60 per pod in steel. Sorry, my bad. Um, if it's only sixty per pod, there's not much point in. Smarting that down, seeing as we're not going to be able to send all of these home. We've, we've only got enough for five pods anyway. Each pod can take, what, 300 steel? So it's not really worth it. Um, and that's got everything loaded in it, correct? Yep, okay. Uh, send it off. Goodbye, here's the next one. Uh, and then we want to drop that and make sure Sharamus is hauled back into a coffin as soon as he lands. So the second he gets there, I'm going to mark him as haul urgently. Should have, I should move them away from the building, shouldn't I? I always worry that they're going to smash straight through. Right, get him buried. Um, what's it? Let's do that straight away. And let's go ahead and get this chem reactor installed as well. Hopefully, we might be able to re re remove the refinery if we keep this up. Um, we've got room for these? Because we put it in here. It's fine. No one became an optimist. Who was that? Oh, Edward Crosby. Cool, because we kept him in the green for so long. Oh, that's fantastic. So I think there's... Uh, do we have anyone left with the depressive trait? By the way, people we recruit from the prison almost all had the depressive trait because they were kept in a prison for months. Um, let's go buy... My rival Sharamus died. Oh, no. Wow, look at this. Got married to Pierre. Honeymoon phase 8. Lavish meal. Good God. I've never seen anything like that. Masochist, bisexual optimist. Okay, let's start here. So we've got optimist, optimist. Nothing. Okay, fair enough. So we could still work on Rose for a little bit. Optimist, optimist. Depressive. Right, so Helotos is still affected by it. Um, so is Sir gets knocked out a lot. And then how is Pork doing? Masochist, asexual, kind. He's, he's, he's all good. He's, having a nice, he's actually in a surprisingly good mood, given that he's in a dirty building in the middle of the Arctic. Let's load the uranium first, then we go up to mass on the steel again. Nice. We can ship a lot of steel home, but I'm, I'm, obviously we'll do it up until we've got the amount of components. Then we'll just abandon ship. Gotta remember to take the... To be fair, we can take this part too. Gotta remember to take the power cell uh, and the infinite cam reactor. So we'll do those on the next shipment after we've loaded this steel in. Two hollow base stations, one vanamantra power cell, one infinite cam reactor, and then a shitload more steel again. We're not going to be able to... I mean, it's a real shame that we're leaving behind essentially 4,800 steel. Unless we would send a caravan to come pick it up. But now that everybody's home and the rebuilding's begun, I don't know I can justify it, to be honest with you. Don't get me wrong. We still made a ridiculous amount out of that. You know, we got our tech profs at Persona Core. We got all of the all of the steel that we actually did manage to send back is going to be pretty ludicrous. Plus, we actually got a lot of steel slag, which isn't too bad. Bearing in mind that the, the time to, to process those is a lot slower these days. There we are. Um... All right, so that's another however much we're sending there. All right, let's go ahead and drop that right here. Nice. Um, how many more pods can we send? Seven. Seven? <laughs> Where did all of that come from? I might put down a couple more launches in just to make my life a little bit easier. Otherwise, this is genuinely going to take hours. By the time we've got this all done, we'll have another raid and then we'll have to rebuild anyway. Wait, make mus muscle wire? Oh, okay. Um... I, f I forgot that we still had all the other prosthetic... Maybe we should pause those other prosthetic jobs until we've got a... Another Resurrect Maxera done, huh? How about that, Edward Crosby? 
Uh, there we go. Let's get, let's get on with that. Apparently, we can build it straight away, so we've got enough resources to do so. Right, let's get the other couple of hauling bots down. Let's get this Vanimet trip house. I'll just plug it into the grid anywhere, really. It doesn't matter too much. Um, so we might as well plug it in here somewhere, huh? What else do we get from that? All right, the infinite chem reactor. There we go. So that's going to deal with a lot of our chem fuel issues. Bear in mind, chem fuel, we can process it. We can process that straight into neutroamine, right? Or is it the neutroglycerin? I never remember the way around it is. Um, right, it's neutroglycerin. So we can use all of what we get from the boomalopes now into purely just medicine production. Then chem fuel we can get from this instead. So I might even want to go ahead and remove some of these. But we'll so I'll sort out the numbers in between episodes. I've wasted enough time trying to get all this crap done, to be honest with you. Cleaning blood. Don't do that. Don't do that. Right, let's go ahead and load the rest of this stuff. We'll, we'll say that that'll do for now. Um, right, so what is worth sending back? To be honest, kind of just the steel. 774 more steel. 744 more steel. Actually, the lavish meals, perhaps. Although we've got... We've got a ridiculous amount of lavish meals. We can make as many of those as we want. We Unfortunately, we're not quite as... Uh, not quite as lucky with the steel. Can't remember a mobile. Couldn't really care. Couldn't really care. Let's go, pork. Uh, is there anything else left behind that we want to take with us? So every mechanoid, even the ones we took out over the rivers there, are gone as well. I think that's genuinely it. Okay, good work. That was not bad. That was not bad. Obviously, we could... Oh, we could take apart these walls and get a bit more plasteel in hindsight. Okay, hang on. Cancel loading. That was kind of the whole reason we came on this, this journey anyway. And to say that we got nothing for it because the floors were apparently bridges. We might as well invest uh, in a little bit more time into grabbing this stuff. Maybe those are also plasteel floors as well under there. It's all going to be river, isn't it? What's the point? Okay. It's not going to be much more, but it's something. There we go. 46. That'll do. Right. Get this shit loaded. Oh, that actually used up the last of the chem fuel too. Nice. Okay. Uh, right. Load group of four. I realized we had a couple of extra... A couple of extra chunks of, of component left over. Right. We got plasteel and then max out on steel. 984. That's a lot better. And that's also going to, don't forget, translate directly to more plasteel for us as well. Leaving behind about 3,000 steel overall though. So it's a little bit of a shame. But... Hey, we were limited by the amount of components I had. I should have left some more components behind with the uh, with the mechanoids we dismantled in hindsight. Let's get little Edward Crosby to not do that. Let's get him to take this and resurrect Sharamus. The only other things that we really need to do then are to research decent armor, whether that's marine armor or recon armor. Either would be fine. And then decent weaponry. Once we've got that, we can start the raid on the Empire and see how well we do at that point. Uh, bear in mind, we gave him the extra few years of skip forward time using my powerful time magic to give him a few extra years to build up their base. It could be quite a challenge. I don't know quite to the extent how much we should need to prepare, but there's not much more else we can do beyond this stage unless we want to play for another year or whatever. But obviously, you know, the show must go on. Oh, is he just up on his feet? Oh, man, it's just up on his feet. Doubt of the Coward was, was on the floor. Is it because Resurrection Sicknesses drops your... Oh, Maneuvering... Oh, so he was just fine with it. She's just straight up downed, though. Why? So his... All of his bonus stuff giving him extra consciousness is keeping him going. Wow. So so Sharamus, the orc part of him, is is unconscious from Resurrect Sickness. The robot part is just moving on his own. That's frightening. And let's bring him home. A hero. A hero. Welcome. Pork, savior of this base, deliverer of plasteel, and all sorts of other good things. Good shit. That went. Oh, that went pretty well, I think. Obviously, we were kind of limited by time as well. I wasn't. I didn't even check how many days we had left there. Oh, that was close. Welcome back. There we go. Everybody's home. Good shit. Everybody's in an insanely good mood as well. We've got a lot of. I mean, a ridiculous amount of steel slag to start smelting down. We've got a ridiculous amount of. Or a decent amount of plasteel, I should say. And apparently we've also finished muscle wire, wherever that's been put. Uh, I guess because our other shelf was destroyed. Uh, bionics? Hello? Anybody Anybody seen any bionics? Well, it's somewhere, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> I have no idea where that's ended up. Doesn't matter too much, we'll find it. Okay, good. oh wait, they're in the freezer. Right, so the muscle wires, uh, there's a couple of ways we can install those. Those give a 33% part efficiency. So you can install that into the natural arms of of Sharamus, and obviously he'd hit a lot harder, and that would also let you give him hand uh, implants as well, but the only problem is the hand implants are regular weapons that he'll swap to in combat, so if we give him a Link Monosword, he has like a 25% of the time he'll use his hand weapons, and none of those are as good as Monosword, so we don't want that regardless, but also 33% part efficiency is obviously not as good as the Bonic Arms we've given him anyway. Gives global work speed, max hit points are moving, so if we install them into his legs, he'll get a ridiculous moving bonus because it not only does it give the move bonus but it also gives the part efficiency this was specifically why i didn't install anything into his legs we can also give him some extra feet as well um and there are those hover feet that we've already got queued up i think somewhere um 
Elastic Achilles. Oh, maybe it was the Elastic Achilles I wanted instead. Maybe that was it. Probably. Um, either that, or instead of Elastic Achilles, you can get, like, hover platforms for him to fly around on. Which is just a horrible sight all around, really. It's this necrotic, half-rotten orc corpse with loads of metal sticking out of it, floating towards you with a giant sword. That's pretty fucked up. And that's what the Empire's gonna have to deal with. I think with that, everything is basically fixed. Not only is it fixed, but we've obviously got a lot of resources now to carry on with. When this is done, the cryogenic power research, we're gonna move on to... Uh, probably charged weaponry. I know it's going to take a long time to actually... Oh, we've already researched it. Okay, never mind. Then we could go laser weaponry. Those have a ridiculous amount of... Uh, a, a ridiculous amount of penetration... Armor penetration-wise. Um, tech prints we need for those ones. So I don't think we're ever going to be able to get those, unfortunately. And I'd love to get all of these as well for Sharamus. But obviously, those require more tech prints. And again, we could play this for another year. And really, really max out. But I don't think it's necessary. I'm not sure the Empire's... The Empire, as it stands right now, might be able to put up a good fight against us, and that's kind of important. I don't want to, I don't want to be so overpowered that we spend all this time doing it and then just go and wipe them out straight away, huh? So let's go cryogenic power, and then as our last research, we've got charge weapons, so we'll give everyone charge rifles or whatever else. Recon armor, we'll get marine armor. Try and give everybody a set of marine armor. Shield belts. People are asking why I haven't been given Sharon a shield belts. We don't have none, as far as I know. I, I did have a look for them, but I didn't see any. Um. No, we don't have any. Okay, so we'll get the shield belts churned out as well. Obviously, give Sharamus one of those because it'll really help him out quite a lot. And then our last research will be the repulsor gear because that allows us to build shield generators to protect our base. So we'll get a couple of those down. Then the fight against the Empire can truly begin. That'll be the last thing we probably do is obviously raid the base of the Empire. In the meantime, while we're setting up for all of that stuff, the other goal I'm kind of setting for us is the final things to do here for this campaign will be to use our military to capture all of the other settlements on the world map. So you know what we're going to do? Ready for tomorrow... We're going to say capture settlement and we're going to send the military level 7. And hopefully by tomorrow we can load into having that captured or we can see that be captured tomorrow. We'll try and capture everything and the last thing we'll do is wipe out the broken empire. And that'll be another planet in the bag for, for our mighty faction. And Rose gets her own planet as, as vengeance for leaving her behind last series. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for watching. We will leave that one here for today. It's been a lot. I will admit the last couple of episodes have been very slow because, of course, we've been doing these crazy side projects like disassembling a whole mechanoid ship. But now that we've built back up, I'm going to go full steam ahead. So I'm going to be kind of heavy editing, trying to usher in all of this armor and weapon upgrades and things. It's going to take a long time. It's going to be a lot of crafting too. So brace yourself ready for that. Thank you to Harik, Ben Hofflin, Gwen Gun, Shay, Ninja Tree V. Tom Terror 18, Emerald Ghost 11, The Potato Eater, Aromatic Fool, Gwen S, Alchemia, Leo, Justin Wallace, Sweet C, Chicken Wang HD, and everyone else at the same tier levels on Patreon for making the channel possible in the first place. Big thanks to you guys for supporting us, particularly during lockdown as well. Thank you as well to Betamus Max, Erotha, Moira Valkyrie, Ben Taylor, Shizzledur, Chronic Blob, Warcats, Nick, Justin Plock, Adrian Ellison, Callum McLeod, Blood for the Blood God, Demon X Jester, Proximity Jones, Cody Cope, Caron24, Joseph Beer, Jackson P, Valkyrie, Jason Sushu, Tiger Rifter, and everyone else at Patreon as well. Thank you guys for your support, and see you all tomorrow for hopefully the final last gear upgrades, or at least going towards the final capturing bases. There we are. That sounds a lot. That sounds a lot more impressive.